Most solid materials are crystalline, which is uh, very convenient for us. So we can use this for really extremely different industries. So mining industry, we want to know which minerals they have got. Cement, they want to know what is the common, uh, composition of the cement, does it change or something. Yep. Battery materials, here they want to typically see something else. So how the patterns change as the batteries charge and discharge and um, how uh, stable that is. So if it stays stable within 10,000 cycles or if it's stable, the battery sh uh, shows signs of aging or even worse. Mm -hmm. And all these are things where powder diffraction is used, uh, used. So it's really an application with a huge number of people being interested in it.